guys, I'm Clay Mayfield, Hoist Gracie Purple Belt, an instructor here at IQ Jiu Jitsu. And today I want to take a look at how to fold the gi. If I've got a lot of equipment to bring from one training session to another, there's only one way to go. It's the Gracie Tactical Backpack. GracieAcademy.com forward slash store. Check it out, it's the real deal. But if, like me, you only carry your gi with you, what's the most efficient way to get it all together and to your next training session? Here's what I've found. Now today, for demonstrational purposes, I'm using my favorite gi, which is my Deferma Kimonos Custom Gi. Deferma makes some of the best gis on the market, including my custom competition gis and our Academy's custom gis here at IQ Jiu Jitsu and at Three Rivers Martial Arts. Customized with our logos and patches, it's very lightweight and breathable material, fits very nicely, form-fitted and reinforced in all the right places, just some of the highest quality gis you can find. Now, I'm going to start by laying the gi out in front of me. We're smoothing it out here. No wrinkles are allowed in the folding process. So now the gi is ready, we're ready to begin. It starts with a two finger pinch, the thumb and the index finger. I'm going to grab the end of the sleeve and the hem of the skirt. I lift and fold. Once again, no wrinkles allowed. My hand goes on the shoulder, I lift the sleeve up again and I fold it back on itself once, twice, Three times. Same procedure on the opposite side. Two finger pinch on the hem of the skirt and on the sleeve. I lift and I fold. Check out the fold though. I'm not folding all the way across the gi. I'm just folding to the very middle. Just like in Jiu Jitsu where we learn not to take our arms across our spine. I'm not crossing the center line when I fold. Hand on the shoulder. I fold the sleeve back on itself once, twice, three times. You see the distinct layer is going on right here with the sleeves. So let's set the jacket aside. We'll come back to it in a moment. Moving on to the pants. Nothing fancy here. Notice the drawstrings though. Man, these drawstrings keep the pants tied when you're training. I love them. Let's set those right there. Standard pants folding procedure. I fold once, twice. Let's go ahead and set that right there on top of the sleeve. So you see that layer is just building right there. We've got the three distinct layers. Now you've got room to throw in more things as well. For example, I've got my compression shorts that I wear when I'm training. I'm going to put those on top of the pants. I've also got my custom Deferma rash guard, colored by rank. I'm going to fold that up and throw that on top of the compression shorts. Now to finish the fold, it's a simple procedure. But simple doesn't mean easy. There are two common inefficiencies we've got to avoid at all costs. The first inefficiency is folding all the way across, being overambitious. When you're overambitious in Jiu Jitsu, you lose your position. The second inefficiency, even worse, is folding all the way to the pants and then not having room to make the bite. So the solution, I leave a hinge. When I fold, I don't fold all the way, I leave about a hand's width right here. So now I can lift up and make the bite. Look at that, it fits perfectly. Let's go ahead and flip that over. And we're ready for the most important ingredient, right? which is the belt. I start by finding the center of the belt just like I would when I'm tying up for class. Once I've found that very center, it goes on the middle of the gi. I'm going to pull down on both sides and seek the ground. There's a very subtle detail going on here. It can't even be picked up by the camera. As I'm seeking the ground, there's a thumb flare. My thumbs flare out and hook underneath the gi. Both sides equal pressure, thumb flare, I lift and I flip. And I fold across. Now we're almost done, but not yet. Once I take the slack out, I'm going to switch directions. Equal pressure, seeking the ground on both sides. The thumb flare happens again. I reach under, lift and flip. My opponent can move to escape, and I want to contain his movement on all sides. So I'm not just going to wrap the gi in two directions, I want to wrap it in four directions and stop escape from any angle. I take the slack out, one folds on bottom, one folds on top. Let's get a closer look at what's going on here. One fold on bottom, one fold on top. Now, my thumb is going to pin, my fingers are going to lift. So the thumb pins and the fingers lift, and I take the tip and feed it through. Once again, two tails, one on bottom, one on top, feed it through again, 
and there we've got it. So now we have a self-contained unit with the jacket, the pants, the rash guard, compression shorts, and belt all in one package with a built-in carrying handle. This is how I take my gear with me wherever I go.